Hey, in this video we're going to have a list of items and we're going to choose a random item based on how, how likely we want it to be. So in the last video I made a music player that plays random clips or music if you want. It just chooses a random clip. Now we have these three, but what if I wanted Super Mario World coin to be very likely and Super Mario World jump to be very rare? So just open up that script from before. So this time, instead of having an array of audio clips, we need to have each clip have a weight associated to it, so a number of how likely we want it to be. So we're going to make a new simple, very simple class called track, and it's just going to have two things in it. It's going to have an audio clip called clip, and it's going to have an integer called weight. Yeah. And we're going to make both of these public so everyone outside of this code here can see it. Otherwise it wouldn't be very useful. We're going to replace audio clip here with track and clips with tracks. And then down here replace clips with tracks and again replace clips with tracks. So this is now a random track but it's not an audio clip. We want to get that audio clip. Now if we save this and go into Unity, click Music Player, after it compiles, that has disappeared now. We can't see our tracks. We can't add any. That's because the class is not serializable. So you just have to add this line and save it. So now we have tracks. I'm going to make three, Enter. And I'm going to go and set this up again. We've got the coin, fireball, jump. So as I said, let's say the coin is weight 5, the fireball is weight 2, and the jump is weight 1. So we're going to use this in our code now. When we get a random clip, we need to use this. So what are we going to do? So this is how you can visualize this. This is the coin, this is the fireball, and this is the jump. And if we add up all their weights, 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8. So that's the total weight here is 8. We're going to generate a random number from 1 to 8. And then we're going to see where it falls. So let's say we generate 6. Well, okay, that's this spot. That's fire. But you can see that if it's a random number from 1 to 8, odds are we're going to hit coin because its weight is big. Okay, so first we need to get the total weight. It's going to start at zero. We're going to go through each track starting at zero. Now there's th three tracks, but if we do tracks.length and add up, so this i is going to be zero, one, and two because tracks is length three. And then we're going to do total weight. We're going to increase it by tracks i weight. Whoops. So now total weight is going to be 8. It's going to say the first track is 5 plus the second track is 2 and the third track is 1. Now we need to get a random number from that. So the minimum is going to be 0 and the max is going to be total weight. This will actually give us a number from 0 to 7 because total weight is 8 and if you do 0 comma 8 then it's 0 to 7. It doesn't include the 8 but that's good because 0 to 7 there's 8 possibilities. So let's say we roll a 6. We're going to start with an index of 0 and we're going to go through each track and we're going to add the weight. So at index 0 we'll check is 6 less than 0? No. So it's going to add 5 to it. It's going to say, is 6 less than 5? No. So it's going to add 2, and then it's going to say, is 7, or is 6 less than 7? Yes. So because it was a yes and we're here, we're going to choose this track. So we're going to loop through the tracks just like before, just like above here, except this time we're going to keep track of that index. And again, we're going to add the track's weight just like before, 
However, we're going to do that check. If, if that random number is less than our index, then we're going to return that track. That clip, rather. And if something wacky happens, or I guess whatever, you need to return something. So we'll just leave this here. But this should never happen. So we'll save that, go into Unity and press play. Okay, so we're hearing a lot of coin and some jumping, but we're hearing a lot of coin. And that's, uh, that's, that's right. So that's how you do a weighted random choice, or at least one of the many, many ways.